Hey, how's it going, guys? It's um, G2C Matthew, and uh, today we're going to be playing The Binding of Isaac. Uh, Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb, because this is the one, this is the game that I don't think any of the other G2C members are going to be playing on the channel. So let me go ahead and start it up here. Uh, Okay, so I think because this is my first run for the game, episode one, I'm going to do a random Isaac run. <clears throat> no, Isaac doesn't have G6 unlocked from the start, and I don't know how to unlock it in this game, so... I'm kinda screwed, I'm used to playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and so this game is a new to me here. I think that it's a tinted wreck right there, that the dish is the spitting out right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and bomb that to see if we get the soul heart. A couple bombs, not bad. Before I fight the boss, I'm going to go ahead and bomb this rock. I don't know if there are placements in this game, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bomb that anyway, I guess. Uh, <coughs> so, right now, I'm just looking for the key, the treasure room. Uh, I'm gonna kill some of these hoo hoos. Bomb that because they go like, ho oh, ho! Oh, look at that. Alright, kill the rest of these flies. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the treasure room. And I believe that is Horror of Babylon. Yeah. Which, uh, not bad. It's just, that's actually weird. I, I thought, I, I did not know that was a, um, uh, what's it called item? Uh, just an item blowing. Okay, I don't think that should hit me, but. Yeah, what is that? Is Maybe I'll let him t t t hit here. Just so I can uh, actually activate the Horror of Babylon. I think that'd be pretty good for the boss fight, but. Horror of Babylon, what it does is that once you get down to. Uh, half a heart of HP, you gain a ton of attack damage, a ton of uh, just stuff to, to, to boost your boost your power. But it's a definitely a glass cannon sort of thing. You're at one HP. You're one hit before death, so it's good to have it stacked with like some devil deals um, later on, which I'll, I'll show you guys what those are in case you're not familiar with Isaac. So uh, yeah, we went ahead and walked to this room, and there was a boss fight, mini boss fight. This is the real boss for the floor. Um, he's spawning a bunch of enemies, shooting lots of bombs at us, so you just gotta be careful. Uh, that's one thing about Isaac, that uh, just to get better, you just play careful. You play like a pussy. Alright, cool. Oh, wow. So we got the Empress, which that's a tarot card. Uh, that's just an item I can use whenever, and it's going to boost my attack, boost uh, my stats up for the game. Pretty much gives me a horror battle on effect, just for a single room. This is Cancer. This is a trinket. Uh, what this is going to do is boost my fire rate up by a lot, so uh, as long as I hold on to it, I can switch out trinkets at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and um, enter the room here. I'm going to be fighting Gemini here. I'm going to go ahead and actually use this Empress card. As you can see, I'm, I'm uh, dark-skinned in tone. Um, Isaac like, can't do that, bro. I think you're gonna get cancelled. Okay, so this little baby is really slow in this game. Okay, so I haven't killed the kid, and it already it exploded that, that thing there, so we went ahead and got... And another, or an HP up, got some dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump down to the next floor, guys. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, make sure you like, you uh, comment, and you subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, guys. This is gonna be a whole year of this stuff, so. Um... All right, go ahead and kill that gaper enemy. Kill some flies. Ooh, juke, juke. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, the audio is coming through okay. Um, this is the first video, so you know, the later dates it's just going to get better. Um, <clears throat> we do actually have a pretty good thing going right now, which is with the cancer alone, giving us that extra fire rate. Um, so I'm not too worried about this one. I think we're going to easily, you know, make it to uh, Mom's heart and be able to kill her. Alright, there we go. Oh. This game is a lot, um, it, it, it does have its differences from Rebirth, um, but it is pretty much the same style of gameplay. Um, go ahead and pick up a two of diamonds, which that's going to double my, uh, double my coins once I actually find any, so. And there we go. Got some coins, there we go, I'll use that, and we're at ten coins, baby! <clears throat> 
go ahead and leave a like. Um, okay, go ahead and bomb this chest open here because we need some more we need some more stuff here. Oh, goat hoof, not bad, but I'd rather have cancer. That is a really great trinket that you have. Okay, good thing I I got a key from that because uh, um, now we get my reflection. I mean, I'll go ahead and take that. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not really a fan of this item, but you know. It's, uh, you gotta take it, because there's not much you can take in this game. Alright, so go ahead and fight the boss, which is gonna be Duke of Flies. Um, it's a great boss. Um, Sorry, I just have to focus up a little bit. <sighs> so we got a head guy at the wooden swoon, and we're gonna hit through the devil field here, and those are spectral tears, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and take those. Pretty nice find for the first devil room there. Alright, Chris Darkness, uh That didn't hit me. I swear, I get the worst luck ever. So these guys are pretty simple. Uh, you just have to kill them before they reanimate here. A uh, little pile of sludge. There we go. Got a key and a coin from that room. Not bad. Uh, so this curse is... I think they called something different. It's like Curse of the Lost or something. In this game, it's... Curse of the Darkness, or Curse of the Blind, or something like that. It just means I can't see the map. Which, it's annoying, but like, I mean, I can manage. There are some curses that are really, really hurt when you get them. Like, Curse of the Blind, and then you end up picking up fucking Bob's Brain and killing yourself with it. Because, you know, Bob's Brain's a great item. Shitty item. Great item. Alright. Go ahead and kill these guys here. Uh, the red ones you could shoot, you know. Oh, Charm of the Vampire? It's alright. Alright item. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it gives the, the damage up in this game. It's, I actually can't tell at all. This game doesn't have any statistics. I'm taking tons of hit here, and I am clearly not fucking hitting them, so. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, um, I lost, like, almost all of my hearts on this floor. Fun game. And nothing walked into that. Fun. Don't mind that. It's my first one to go put on the channel. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Head of nine tails. It's a great item. Great item to have. Here we go. Entering caves two. Yeah, nice room. Getting hot in here? 
Hey guys, is it? Leave it down in the comments. Is it getting hot in here for you guys? Oh. Something weird going, something weird going on in my chest. <laughs> okay, well, run has to go on. Alright, go ahead and kill these, uh, this pig guy here. Alright. Let's see the crying, like I was telling you before. Alright, go ahead and kill this green guy here. Wow, <laughs> he's going down quick, guys. Rose? I'm straight.